Hopefully I can continue my, my improv career. Yeah, I was in the top group that week, but mm -hmm. as my uh, sisters in that group liked to say, yeah, they, they carried they me the through. Ball. Yeah, they so. did say that, didn't they? I was kind of coming into this wondering like, okay, Aiden's gone. Where's the drama going to be on the show? But I feel like we found it. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so crazy. Oh my god. I just watched it myself. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh god. <laughs> At the end of the day, it doesn't f***ing matter, okay? The bitch is safe, leave her the f*** alone. Like, like, I'm gonna like, worry about Heidi right now, okay? Like I said, f*** you, f*** you, f*** you, f*** you, and f*** you. I'm gonna worry about Heidi. What is that what about? about? What is all of this about? Y'all need to leave it alone. The things that were said on Untucked, I think that you guys weren't willing to just let those sit. Everyone else was trying to say bygones be bygones, but that was just so many minutes ago and you guys are ready to get into it. It just happened. It was still fresh on the mind. I I pride myself on being able to let things go, but some things just happen and it's just it's hard to let go of certain things. Especially when you feel like being you're being blindsided and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just because I was minding I was sitting there minding my still, drinking my cocktail, minding my own business, <laughs> and then got drug into it. So I was like, okay, here we go then, let's do it. <laughs> What can you say about how that's going to play out over this episode? I know we know it's the Rusical, and so that's probably got everyone in high tensions. Heidi's just always worried about Heidi. That's, <laughs> just, that's just how I do. You know, I'm going to try and focus on doing my best. And that's really just my whole life story is always trying to do my best, personally, whether it's makeup or a Rusical or whatever it may be. I always try to do my best. And that's, and that just, that it'll, it'll play out the way it's going to play out. <laughs> How are you feeling, boo boo? It's just been a build up from the moment oh, we got here. Yeah, I'm I don't want to have to continue going through this competition in those moments feeling good about myself just to have other people Get like tear you down. Yeah. Maybe you're not necessarily like sticking up for Aiden, but there is a little bit of a sense of like, guys, let's back off that sort of thing. You know, I'm also from a small country town, so I completely understood how she was feeling throughout the whole thing. Cause like we come from backgrounds where we're not around a lot of queens all the time. We're also, we don't have the nicest things and we we knew we didn't have the nicest things especially when everybody was unpacking it's like Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> some of us had some of us had a change purse for um a budget and some of us had thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands up to thirty to forty thousand dollars worth of budgets and some of us did not so <laughs> yeah does it feel like coming into drag race you are in on just a smaller stage before all the girls talk about how many things they've done like you have britta who's been on like Broadway tours mm -hmm. and on TV, and Jan's like a a a, a song a a, sing, a songstress, you know. <laughs> she's been on TV as well. So it's like these girls are doing, and I'm like over here, like okay, well I perform at my local bar maybe once a month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good luck, and don't <laughs> it up. Like, gonna give you my heart to break.